Hey, hello everybody, and today I'm going to be doing another tutorial on Bridge V2. Last, last episode we did, I um, showed you how to make a simple uh, block. So today I'm going to show you guys how to give the block attributes and how to start with an entity, with a basic entity. Similar to how I did a basic block for the bare necessities. Okay, so getting it started, we're going back to our limestone thing that we made last episode. As you can see, this is more like the minimum stuff. Some stuff like map color aren't required, but we did add those just because. But um, if you're going back into components up here, you can. Let's just say. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. So let's say we want it to drop a different kind of item, right? So first, you can see loot tables empty dash empty dot JSON. You want to go over to loot tables, and then you can see that you can go off of this one, or you can make your own by going to new file and then simple files, and you can see all these. And that's how you make a new loot table. And anyway, we're going to go use empty dot JSON for now. You can see here we want it to be pools. We can do all this stuff. So first entries. This is the item. This is the basic for a loot table is the item. For entries is you're gonna need the item. Okay, and then you're going to be to want to do rolls. This is how much you can get from mining the limestone. So we can do minimum, and then we're going so depending on the block, this is how much you can get from it. When you mine it, like the kind of material that it drops is how much you can get. The minimum is is from so it'll be from one, and it can give up to like say three. Like how copper gives more when you mine it sometimes and sometimes less. That's how you would do that. Okay. Then you want conditions. So here is when you can do match tools when you're mining the block. You can do that. Up here in entries, if we do it like here, item name. So remember this item equals item. We can delete that one now. Okay, actually, okay, let's delete all of that. When you do type item, that's where you can put the item name. You can also do support advanced stuff. That's not what we're doing today. You can go name, and then you can choose say okay, sure, both. So this is the item that it will drop, or you can make it, or you can do a second one. And then it'll do name instead of acacia boat, it could be like acacia button. So it could be give either of these when you mine the block, which is limestone. But it's, it's kind of weird, limestone gives a boat and a button. But but you can also you do this with custom items, which we'll be doing a tutorial on next time. But um, that's how you would make multiple things. And then this is how you could do the minimum and maximum. And then if we go back up to pools here, you can see all the other stuff. We can make more rolls, we can make more entries and stuff like that, but that doesn't really matter right now. For conditions, we can do magic tools. So it, can only, it only works. Okay, so let's redo that. Condition. Okay, so condition. We go match tool, right? Item. And then, so when you mine, you have to mine it with these specific tools. So say another right pickaxe, and you can do that for all the different pickaxes that mine this ore. So you can make it towards it's like a specific kind of thing. So that's how you would do, so like a specific kind of like tier of ore, like how iron needs a stone pick, and how diamonds needs an iron, and uh, and another right needs diamonds and all that. So that's how you can make your ore like take specific things to mine, and then. And as you can see, we would go over here, the tables that you just say some, which is the one we made. So, let me open everything up again. We are going, since we're still in the, going to be in the um, block editor, I'm oh, sorry, tree editor. And just a reminder, if you're if you're trying to change your editor, tree editor and raw text. Go, but my tutorials are going to be on tree editor since it's more simple. Remember to go to this. It's an editor here, and then you want to choose tree editor. Anyway, back to the tutorial. So you want to see this. 
so we would do so let's just do a simple one like a diamond pickaxe like diamond underscore pickaxe the minecraft doesn't have to be at the beginning but i would suggest placing it i i usually keep it there so you should as well just a suggestion anyway in limestone you can see here in the loot you can see all of these which are loot tables for all the other things in the game these are pre-made ones so you can go through this so this would be like an ancient city the average ancient city chest you look from that and you break that but what we're gonna do is just empty jump on right so when you break the block you can get an acacia boat or button and you need a diamond pickaxe in order to mine it and it can't but but if you want to make it like the diamond pickaxe specifically that's that's what we did here what do you have to do? Condition, condition, match tool, item, right pickaxe, as you can see here, and now can be mined by both of those. So it's diamond and up. It also works for if you're making custom pickaxes as well. So don't worry about that. And anyway, you can, and then you. Anyway, and that will automatically change it here. So it's just checking for this thing, not for, not, so it will automatically save this to here, to, to this loot table. And then if you want to be, to emit light, which is pretty simple, you just do light emission and then you can choose light level 15 being like, being like a, like a, like a torch or something, but then like a, um, soul lantern would be like for example like eight or something so yeah you could probably like figure that out like google or something but yeah and then you can see here you can make a, a custom crafting table and then crafting tags you can put in like and say you need to learn more right defines the name of the ui and then you could do like table name but then, but then, if you're making an item, which we'll be going over next episode, you'd be able to assign it to, to be able to craft in this table separately. So that's how you can make that. So you want to do table name, and then it'd be like hi, and crafting tags. It'd be like hello. But yeah, then you could. That's how you would. That's how you could change that. So it finds the name of the UI in this table. And all that but yeah so that's how you can make a craft that's how you make a crafting table as you can see here it tells you all the stuff about it and if you need more information you do VA documentation and it'll bring you to bedrock dev where it will like where it gives you a description but it, the descriptions are are pretty outdated so I, so you're gonna need to it's not gonna be the most in depth and it will and sometimes it's not fully accurate but I would go off of that for most of the stuff so you want to go to create new file, you want to go to blank entity, or you can just go here and then make that. And then you, and then for, for blank entity, you want to, you don't have to put these in, but the texture is like what you paint onto the model and the model is actually like the shape and everything. So like, for example, you'd use block bits for that, which I have a down, which I have a tutorial on how to download it. Another one, on another one of my videos, you want to identify we can just do yeah, yeah, but you can. But for identifier, you can't book spaces. So make sure so for spaces to replace those use underscores, and then display name is what it looks like. Is like the name for when you're getting killed by it and stuff like that. And right after that, you can just create it. You can see the display name up there. You can make this like summonable, so it can be summoned by commands or spawnable if it will spawn in the net natural world. Wait no, summonable as in the uh, as in command, and spawnable as in the uh okay, and spawnable as in using a spawn egg. You can see the components and component groups. In components, you can see a lot of stuff here, but you can go through this and figure out uh, like how to make it wander around and do the stuff. The sun, you can do priority and then multiplier and stuff like that. The average entity t is pretty long like if you see all this yeah it's around like five times as long as that for a basic entity which i don't want to show you all that because it'll take it's i know what does that so it'll take an hour but 
you can go through here, you can make events for it. I'll still be doing a tutorial on event. I don't knock I there'll probably be a tutorial on events in the future, but not anytime soon, most likely. But you can do stuff like that. There's pre-made, there's a bunch of pre-made stuff and the component groups that go along with the events. And, but I think that's going to be all for today, as I don't think we have anything else to show. So, goodbye.